Cody, Cody, Cody Rice. Cody, Cody, Cody Rice. Cody Rice, what all she does, yo! Let's get into it and make this quick chicken curry. To get started, peel carrots, potatoes, ginger, and our apple. Cut the carrots and potatoes up into large bite-sized pieces. Slice the onion up into large pieces. Mince ginger and garlic. Mince the apple up. Cut the chicken thighs into bite-sized pieces as well and season all over with salt and pepper. Now, get out a large pan and add a wheel to it over a medium heat. Once it's hot, add the chicken thighs and brown the pieces on all sides. It'll take about seven or eight minutes. Now add our sliced onion and cook for a few minutes or until slightly translucent. Next add the ginger and garlic and saute for a few minutes. Now I'm going to add my chicken bouillon paste and water, mixing it well to dissolve the chicken bouillon. Now add our carrots and potatoes, and add the minced apple, soy sauce, Worcestershire sauce, and honey. Stir well and bring this to a boil, and cover with the lid. Now turn the heat down to medium low. After about 15 or 20 minutes our potatoes and carrots should be softened, now it's time to add our box curry. Break the curry block up into several pieces into a bowl and add some of our cooking liquid into it and mix it well. Now add this dissolved curry block mixture into the pan, mix it up well, turn off the heat, and add our oh, green peas. Gee. It's curry time. We're officially supported by the state of Texas. We're Texas's favorite. <laughs> they can't see us for that. <laughs> okay, let's make this chicken curry from scratch now. Let's start out by making this curry roux. Add oil and flour to a saucepan and mix it well to thoroughly combine it. Continue cooking this over medium heat until it turns into a <laughs> peanut butter or milk chocolate color. Once it reaches this stage, remove it from the heat and add our curry powder, garam masala, and cayenne. Mix well. This is our curry root. Alright, now we're going to do the same procedure as the prior recipe, so let's go ahead and fast forward through that. Now add a little bit of our cooking liquid to our curry roux and mix it up well to loosen it up some. Now add our scratch made curry roux to the pan and mix it well. Now simmer this curry for a few minutes until it starts to thicken up nice. Now turn off the heat and add the frozen peas and mix wow. in. It's time to eat. Chill out back there, alright? I'll, I'll drop you off. I gotta deliver this McDonald's first. You want some of this guy's fries? He's not gonna know. Konnichiwa! Watashi no namae wa finger this! Oh, howdy, finger man. Skurikata no website to! This website's pretty darn spiffy if I do tell you what. I, I'm gonna watch this video right now on my phone while I'm driving. I'm taking a break. Hey, guy in the back, take the wheel. Now let's make our quick vegetable curry. To get started, peel our carrots, potatoes, ginger, and apple. Cut the carrots and potatoes up into large bite-sized pieces. Now slice the onion up into large pieces. Mince the ginger and garlic. Mince the apple up. Cut the green beans into thirds and the bell peppers into bite-sized pieces. Cut the zucchini in half lengthwise and then cut the halves in half again lengthwise. Now slice these quarters up into half inch quarter moons. Cut the eggplant up into half to one inch cubes. Now it's time to cook. Add our oil to a large pan over medium heat. Once hot, add our sliced onion and cook for a few minutes or until slightly translucent. Next add the ginger and garlic and saute for a few more minutes. Now add the potatoes and carrots and one cup of vegetable broth. Cover with a lid, cook for 10 minutes. Now add all of our remaining chopped vegetables and our minced apple to the pot along with the vegetable broth. Add the soy sauce, Worcestershire sauce, and honey. Bring to a boil and cover it with a lid. After about 10 minutes, our potatoes and carrots should be softened. Now it's time to add our box curry root. Break the root block up into several pieces into a bowl and add some of a cooking liquid and mix it well. Now add the mostly dissolved curry block mixture into the pan. Mix it well. Turn off the heat. And enjoy. Now let's make our vegetable curry from scratch. You know the drill at this point, so just go ahead and skip to the good part. Add the curry root to a bowl and add some of the cooking liquid that mix well. Now add the curry sauce to the pot, mix it well again, add salt to taste, turn off the heat and enjoy. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I'm supposed to be driving. Oh yeah. Konnichiwa! Konnichiwa! Voodoo Voodoo's at TV! Let's get started with this quick beef curry. Start by peeling our ginger and apple, and then mince our ginger up really finely along with our garlic. Now take the apple and cut it up into small pieces. It doesn't have to be super small since we're going to pressure cook it. Now slice the onion up into large pieces. Season the stew meat all over with salt and pepper. 
Turn on our pressure cooker to saute mode and add some vegetable oil. Once it's hot, add the stew meat and brown it well on all sides. Now add our onions, ginger, garlic, and apple to the pan and saute for a few minutes until the onions turn translucent. Add our beef bouillon cubes, water, Worcestershire sauce, soy sauce, and honey to the pot and mix it well. Now put on the lid and set the pressure cooker to high pressure for 30 minutes. While the beef is cooking, let's prep the rest of our ingredients. Peel our carrots and potatoes and then cut them up into large bite-sized pieces. After the 30 minutes is up, release the pressure and take off the lid. Add the potatoes and carrots to the pot and stir well. Put the lid back on and set the pressure cooker to high pressure for 5 minutes. After this final 5 minutes is up, release the pressure from the cooker one last time. Now take the lid off and stir it well. Take the box curry sauce mix and break it up into pieces along the lines like a chocolate bar. Add the pieces to the pot and mix it up well. Now add the frozen peas and give it another good stir. This is our quick Japanese beef curry. You give it who the mm. You better get out of this car. Now you get the gist at this point, so we'll just go ahead and fast forward it like we've been doing. After this final five minutes is up, release the pressure from the cooker one last time. Now take off the lid and add our homemade curry root of the pot and mix it up real well. Now add the frozen peas and give it another good stir. This is our scratch made Japanese beef curry. You just learned how to make six different recipes in five minutes. Beef curry, chicken curry, vegetable curry, from scratch, from the box, what more could you want? Go out and make it. And as that always says, teach a man the fish and whatnot. We'll catch you next time on OMG Meals. Adam doesn't say that. Mmm. Mm. Fat Americans mm. know how to cook. Mm -hmm. Strong. Mm. Like a box. Mm. Sukulu! So cool.